Um, so welcome back to Pittsburgh. Thanks. Good to see you again. <laughs> <laughs> Last time we saw you was uh, with Guar. Okay. Yeah. 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 Not too long ago. Yeah, well, when you're in <laughs> cities constantly. In fact, it was like a couple days before the thing happened with your eye. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, so we were kind of... We were concerned. I don't know about the rest of those people. But, uh, <laughs> but we were. Um, so, I gotta ask you guys, what's with the woo-woo boys? Thing? Can you explain that to me? Well, famous woo-woo boys. Yeah. <laughs> that's, I mean, I mean that, that's self-explanatory. That's... that's um, we guys have a, a great working relationship, um, obviously, um, dependent upon one another in the, you know, music, lyrics, etc. Um, how do you keep that going and not lose that like fire between the two of you? you just try to like have fun every you just write stuff you send it to him and he just makes it he just does it's it great you know, yeah. get it back it's like it's great it's like it's, 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 it's really no bullshit like we, we both uh we know what we're trying to do with it like we like we knew right off the jump what we wanted it to be it's like we talked about it and, and it was just a no-brainer like i mean you know we didn't want it to sound exactly like the misfits you know or, could have just, you know, done like full court shit with like 50s new wappy shit and like sang about monsters or something. And, and, and I'm sure it would have done well, like, but it's like, I mean, we wanted something a little different. I wanted to do something different. I was going to my man, Cancer Slug. And like, we came up with this kind of goulash of all the different sounds we like. You know, we like, like some thrash, we like some, you know, doomy stuff like Sabbath and stuff, but, you know, and it, but kept a little bit of the Misfits flavor to it. Like, so it wasn't totally left field, you know, totally, like, because a lot of these guys, you know, they, they, they're from these classic bands, and they stray too far away from it, and then it, it, it like, is confusing to people, you know, and it's like, it's like a little too challenging, so it's like, so we, we kept some of the Misfits, you know, like, like, like stuff in it that we liked, but, uh, but we kind of just made it like, like Doyle's thing, you know, it's like, like, like Jerry's got his thing, Glenn's got his thing, this was Doyle's thing. We like it. Good. Yeah, I, I mean, I love it. I love the last two records. Um, are you starting to write a third? A bunch of stuff written. Just, I feel like we just started touring this one. Yeah. Yeah. I'd I mean, like to tour I mean, this one for a while. Everybody else tours it around for three years. Yeah, two, three years. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we're, we're not going to rush it because it's like, I mean, I, I think we got two really solid albums and it's like, you don't want to just like have that third one that's kind of full of filler and stuff, you know, it's like, like we got probably a good half album at least written if not more but it's like you know we're going to go through that with a fine tooth comb and like make sure it's what we want it to be and then, you know add, add to it and beef it up but I mean that takes time we're not going to rush it and just like put out crap you know um, you guys are headed to the UK and Russia after you're done with the US here how do you feel about that going to Russia mm -hmm. didn't freak you out at all <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm excited I know I did just you know, the, kind of the current climate between you know Georgia. Russia and the <laughs> Russia and the U.S. <laughs> it, you know, at this moment, especially with all the I have no idea. allegations, I don't, I don't want to yeah, we, we don't. We're, we're, we're the last two people to follow any current events or anything. Like, right, so like, like we're completely as far as political, religious, anything. Like, we don't. We don't know much about much of nothing. <laughs> we're, we're like negative and. Yeah, and, and, and you can't never get the truth. It's like everything's spun for whatever purpose, this way or that way. It's like there's no middle anymore where you can find any kind of truth. And so it's just, it's better just, I look at it like, you know, the, 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 the wolf out in the woods just roaming around doing his thing. You know, a bomb could drop on his head tomorrow, but he don't know the difference. It's like he gets struck by lightning. It's the same thing, you know, a boulder to fall on him or something. It's like, that shit's just going on. We're doing our thing. We're oblivious to all of it. Um, Alex, you got a thing going on with Madden's Monsters right now. That's really cool. It looks like you got something going on with them too. Am I wrong? This guy, Madden's Monsters, he makes like these I think he's sculpting figures. Doing something like, but, uh, you, he so showed his figure the other day and it looked like you were torso. Yeah, I have yeah. thought to be weird. No, I, didn't. <laughs> but, I, don't, I don't think it's been approved. Yeah, it's just ah, he's, gotcha. um, he's talking to Bruce. Uh, <laughs> okay. like Bruce, he, Bruce really liked what he did with mine, and, and 
and so he was yeah. asking him to come up with okay. a design for Doro. Yeah, that's why he was working on it. But I don't, it hasn't made it all the way up the okay. chain yet. Okay. okay. So if you know what we're talking about, check out Madden's Monsters on yeah, Instagram. Yeah. Very, very yeah, cool, cool, cool stuff. Um, what else do I want to talk to you about? Um, you had a couple guest spots on this record. One, yeah. Randy Blythe, and also um, your girlfriend, Vanessa Ed, uh, Mike, right? How did you coordinate that? Were you actually in the studio with them, or was it like they went in the studio um, and sent it to you? Randy, uh, we called him up and wanted him to sing. And I said, you want to do a song? Yeah. I says, how's this day? He goes, okay. He actually used to record in the same studio as the most of the time. So it worked out. Yeah, it was easy and Lisa that was easy. She was doing something else and I said, hey, I want you to do this here. She was alright. I'm like, I think you listen to it, you know, and fuck it. <laughs> it work. I said, ah, she didn't even work, I just did it right on the spot like that. And I was like, wow, yes. <laughs> and then Michael, I was actually writing a solo for that song. Text me, go save me a spot, and I was, you know, I was writing something inspired by the way he plays because I really like the way he plays, and I had like the same first note, and that's all I could come up with. I'm like, I just couldn't go anywhere with it. And then he texted me, save me a spot in your record for solo, and I was like, done. I'm saying yeah. it's tomorrow. I was like, you do it. It sounds just like. Well, that's <laughs> um, it takes you what about three hours to put on makeup? Sometimes the whole. Yeah. Do you regret like having? Branded trademark look that you have. No. No. Just, it's all cool. Um, yeah. I mean, I, I, <laughs> no, I like it. But I know it's, you know, it's like, it's like, you know, would you rather go see Kiss in the makeup or, or, or <laughs> oh, go see Kiss um, like just standing no up there doubt. like in their, you know, yeah. their clothes, you know? Yeah, it's like, absolutely. No I mean, doubt. It's like, you know, it's like, I mean, like we were talking about earlier, you know, it's like we got a friend of ours, a musician, and it's like, you know, they don't make toys of him. It's like, you know, it's like, you know, it's like, uh, this is true. Whereas, you this know, it's true. like, you know. I mean, this is the way you're supposed to do it. You know, I grew up with David Bowie and Alice yeah. Cooper, and, you know, I, you know, I seen Alice Cooper the other day, and he was I look like this because of you, you know. Yeah. <laughs> you know? So, it was birthday, right? It was, yeah. That was the first thing that, that drew me to the Misfits as a, as a young kid was seeing a picture of them and, see, and thinking, wow, they look awesome. Like, like, yeah. and, and, like, yeah. and, 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 and I wanted to hear the music. It's like, like, I don't even know if, if I would have, like, jumped on it as quick, you know, if I'd have heard a song. Then it's of that image and the imagery, like, drew me to it. And then I really listened to the song, you know, it, it like, it, it got me into it. Like, um, don't mind, I want to talk about the Misfits for a little bit. Um, the reunion um, in Vegas and LA looked like it was fantastic. Um, you were a little bit nervous. Well, I thought I, I you know, I was reading I a lot of nervous. stuff. Now, was it like uh, nerve wracking at all? -wracking? Because, you know, this is just, uh, you know, you guys haven't been together for a while, even though I'm sure you practice with it too much. <laughs> yeah. Um, you got a show in New Jersey coming up. We do. Yeah, sold out. Uh, couldn't get tickets. Um, Neither can I. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I heard you say that last time about that way. Um, has there been any talk at all about, hey, maybe we can get a couple more series after this? Um, so, I'm assuming there has not been any talk about Hey, maybe we should do some new shit. Yeah, bummer. <laughs> all right, well, you know, that's all right. We can just keep listening to your stuff. <laughs> How was, uh, you can't get cancer slide to open up on some dates, which is really cool. How did you pull that off with your voice? Uh, who knows? So, <laughs> like, that, that's, that's, that, that's the question. I, the last time we did it, uh, I think I woke up about 10 minutes before the next show, like, <laughs> like, like afterwards. I was like, yeah, <laughs> totally <laughs> toast. It, it, it killed me, but uh, I mean, but it was a great show, and everybody there, like, we were still talking about it, like, you know, a year later and stuff, and everybody was wanting to do it again. So, everybody was wanting to do it again, so I was like, okay, we'll give it another shot. So, probably, probably not a cancer select oil tour. Oh, 
home to work, so I'd be in it too much. <laughs> it would be I don't nice. think I could survive that. It's like, I mean, because it, it would be all right, like, you know, for a few shows, but but it's like, you know, if I get sick or anything, then it's yeah. my struggle to make it through our set. And touring, you're going to get sick. You're going to get, I mean, you come in contact with so many people, and you're shaking everybody's hand, and then just the room, it gets hot, you're breathing, people sweat and steam, and, and, and you're going to get sick. And especially yeah. going to Europe and different, you know, you, going to get sick and, and then when you when you're sick like that and you're a singer it's like I mean that's that's it's nothing you can do it's like that's your that's your instrument yeah and so I do good to make it through our set like I've had full-on pneumonia last time we played here I had complete full-on pneumonia I was taking antibiotics for it and stuff and, and could barely walk down the street I remember I tried to go somewhere to get a bite to eat and I made it like half of a block and came back laying back down like but you got put on the show and, and so I mean one band's enough. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Well, you guys put a hell of a show in tonight. There's so much energy and it comes out of all four of you. Um, what was New Jersey like last night? It was great. Like, that was good. Yeah, we, we, we really I mean, were so. Like, uh, we were actually surprised. Like, 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 uh, the first, the first show, like, first show's always terrible for some reason. It doesn't matter. I mean, just like, yeah. like, the first show of tour is always, like, usually a bummer. Like, 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 we had a good time. This one took its fun. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, we skipped, we skipped the night. <laughs> Don't hold that against us. We were on like, a nice high note. They were like, oh. I think it's the club. Okay, it's okay. almost. I think it's the club. Some nice. But it was. Just, some nice is just. You know, it's like 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 it's just the mood you're in, or it's just the the, the wavelength you're on, or something. Sometimes stuff just don't work out exactly, and, and you just you can't find your, your footing, you can't find your flow, and it's hard, it's hard to deal with the crowd. I mean, like we were saying earlier to this other girl, like, uh, uh, you know, you'll you'll think that was the worst show I ever played, and then some kid will come up and be like that's the best show I've ever seen in my life you know and it's like so I mean you can't tell it's like we're having one experience and then the crowd's having another experience yeah. so it's hard to judge really uh, I, I've seen you like four times and that was the, the best time this one yeah, you guys. yeah. Um, and, and you know and the fact too that like it's all your stuff you know yeah, what I mean yeah. I get to see a full set yeah, yeah, right. instead of a shortened set um, and you know what the other thing I noticed there were a lot of love songs that you could dance to uh -huh. sure. Yeah. Yeah. You gotta yeah. tell people because they don't know, and then eventually they'll know, and you won't have to tell them no more. But for right now, it doesn't seem like they know, so I, you gotta tell them. Well, thank you, gentlemen. I want to keep having right, all here. I appreciate you always. See you. Always meeting with us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. see you too, man. Thanks, Thanks for the uh, pasta. Oh. oh. <laughs>